what they do, Ken. Mindset Mondays, y'all know what it is. What's good? What's good with you, royalty? Just listening to some Black Lotus music. You know, Black Lotus started out as a group. What they do, what they do. Everybody coming in, y'all know what it is. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? Dooney Dojo. <laughs> Dooley Dojo. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? That, um... You know, I like I like that um I like the fact that it was able to, you know, create an opportunity for um individuals, you know, who didn't necessarily have all the experience. What they do, what they do, royalty, what they do, royalty. Shout out to Macmillan Developments. If you're not following them, definitely follow them. They got the um Dooley game over there as well too. They have a great wealth of knowledge. They um have helped me out a lot in this process. Um, check them out there out of New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mindset Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Monday, y'all know how we do it. Um, I haven't been doing it every single Monday. A lot going on in the background. But that's neither here nor there. How y'all doing today? How y'all started a week have been going? Have y'all mindset been in um, a good place? What y'all focusing on? Type in uh, what y'all focusing on this week. What y'all focus? Is it to uh, expand the business? Is it to elevate the business? Is it to get started? What they do, royalty? Are we... um, The topic today, I'm going to talk about... um, We talking about credit today. Because um, a lot of people... Shout out to SLFX Trade and what they do, Queen. If y'all not following her, y'all make sure y'all follow her. She's a wealth of knowledge in that Forex trading realm. Definitely, definitely. She's on her dojo work. You want to deal, deal with Forex, she got courses, she got digital products. Great resource. And she deals with swing trading. It's something similar to investing. And um, the way she teaches it, I believe it has a lot less risk than day trading in a lot of cases so make sure y'all go check um check in on that but today i'm talking about credit because a lot of people um see the dually posts and the different things that i do and it's like well how did you get you know 30 40 thousand dollars worth of capital it was credit it was credit and credit has a lot of different processes to it you know you want to check your profile you also want to remove your negative remarks now those negative remarks um, do vary and from bankruptcy to repossessions and student loans a lot of people that I deal with um, have student loans um, if y'all don't know I went to school I got my master's degree so um, student loans is a big issue for a lot of people and when I speak to people and I deal with you know consultations I tell individuals it's depending on what your goal is and how do you attain how you plan to attain your goal. Let me give you an example. So, if you have private and and federal student loans, those are two different categories. Now, the federal student loans, and this is all dealing with credit, so I'm you know, about to drop some jewels on you. What they do, Queen? Um, so, if you have federal student loans, when you're talking about Fed loans, Nelnet, things of that nature, American Education Systems, AES, those are all federal student loans. Private side is like Navient, who was formerly Sally Mae. You'll also see Department of Education. Now, you want to be, you want to understand the difference between private and federal student loans. Today is the credit, credit topic and specifically dealing with student loans. If you have some student loan issues, with some student loan issues, tell them to hit me up in a DM. We can go ahead and, um, you know, work some things out and educate. But let's differentiate the the differences between private and federal student loans. The federal student loans is the ones that you want to be aware of. When you talk about uh, Fed loans, American Education Systems, those can be removed from your credit. However, they also don't need a signature by a judge to garnish wages or levy tax returns. So you have to be you want to be educated and cognizant on what type of student loans you have. Um, that's my daughter. She's over there on the um, iPad. She's watching something on her iPad right now. You know? 
Y'all know I'm daddy daycare full time, homeschool my daughter. The monks doing a multiplicity of things, establishing multiple streams of income, building wealth. So y'all hear that in the background, that's her. You know, I gotta keep her uh, attained, the rest of the, um, not attained, but entertained, excuse me, the rest. She be done took over this live right now. But, um, so, Fed loans, um, a uh, American education systems, they don't have to have a signature from the judge to garnish your wages and levy tax returns. So they can be removed, but it all depends on your plan and your goals and your plan to accomplish that goal. Example, if you want to attain a property, let's say most people want to get a home and you're attaining it through FHA, uh, federal housing authorities, well, you might not want to get that removed. But what you might want to do is get in a repayment program with them so it reports as good credit. And you can get a hardship or income-based repayment and that would allow you to be paying, let's say, $20 a month and then reporting good on your credit and you'll still get approved because these vendors only are used to the numbers like one third when it comes to debt and income ratio. However, if you want to attain a, uh, if you want to attain a property, let's say through a hard money phase, let's say a uh, hundred thousand, and you put down twenty thousand, because it's your first time with the, the hard money funds to eighty other eighty thousand, you can go ahead and get those removed, and then build up your credit to go ahead and get the high limit cards in order for you to be able to have your twenty percent down. So it all just depends on the situation. Now, private student loans, they're no different from Walmart and Macy's. You can get those taken off, no problem. You know, so we're having those issues tucked in with the DM student loans, uh, credit with them. So, you know, you want to be cognizant of the two different types of uh, student loans, private and federal, and how they operate. Um, the private student loans require uh, a signature for a judge to go ahead and garnish wages or Navient is private. Um, Nelnet is federal. So Navient needs the permission from the judge. So in order for them to have a permission from the judge, they need to have proper documentation as well as proof of not paying. Nelnet is federal student loans. So that's like um, Fed loans. That could be removed. And we can get that removed. But you want to you want to know your situation. So if you're working a regular job, let's say a state job, something like that, they could come and if you get it taken off and you're not paying them on the back end, they don't have to go through any uh, red tape in order to just go ahead and garnish your wages from your job. Now let's say you're an entrepreneur and you're self-employed, that's a little bit different. Your, your tax returns just very if you're doing it through the business, that can be worked out. Make sure I'm not a tax consultant, so make sure you consult with your tax specialist in reference to that. However, you want to make sure uh, you're of your situation and you want to know exactly what you're trying to attain and the way you're, you want to attain it. Hey, can I have to go when I'm hitting you up soon? I have student loans and I will to help. Okay, no problem, Queen. Hit me up. You know how to get in contact with me. Thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight is just a mild night going into the student loan the credit side. It doesn't affect a lot of different people. They might have not been in school. They might have not had those issues. But I know a lot of uh, different people who it has affected on that issue. So, you know, a lot of people that I know uh, deal with student loans and, and prohibited them from being able to attain a house, single family, multi-family dwelling, or they want to do some things to the next level and it has affected them in that matter. So this is why I'm coming and talking to the people about the student loan situation. I know it's different from the duties and the dividends, but this is all a part of the process of this generational prosperity system. I took the spare change from the dividends and put it into the credit, which I focused on a lot. I didn't put that out there so much for the people before because I was putting my situation together. But now that I'm, you know, in a, in a different position, I'm able to bring y'all the knowledge in a particular way where it could benefit the people.
So we want to be cognizant of um, what are the goals and the way we want to attain those. And everybody's situation is case specific. So that's part of the credit repair. You know, student loans, yeah. Believe, yeah, yeah. It's just they, they've they created a, such a system to keep the people in in financial financial bondage or debt, if you want to. So you're forever paying. I know individuals, I have an older cousin who graduated from Syracuse, and she's probably in her 50s, and she's still paying off students. Right? She just did a uh, repayment program where she's going to have to work for 10 more years in education, even though she's worked in education for 20 years. Um, yeah, coming, very, very coming. And it's interesting when you, you know, go deeper into it. You know, I don't want us to per se go into school to class, but a lot of these, a lot of these student loan corporations are not for profit organizations. So when you pay your student loans, they're marking it on their end as a donation. Uh, it gets deep as far as Black's Law Dictionary, only low interest loan that's never going down. Yeah, and they say it's the only uh, thing that can't be removed in bankruptcy. When I was in D.C., I was speaking to a, um, a bankruptcy attorney out of Tampa. I forget his name, good dude. And uh, we, we had a whole conversation about, you know, bankruptcy, being able to remove student loans. And it's interesting because it all comes down a lot of times to judges. And judges went to school, and they feel like they pay their student loans, so you should have to pay yours too. So they side, they rule in the favor of the student loan company, even if you have accurate information showing different things a lot of the time. Now, I also spoke to another attorney, uh, Queen Sonia, Ale Banyo Konyashe, we've been. Um, I also spoke to another attorney who actually sued the student loan companies and got all her student loans taken off. Queen Sonia, good queen um, out of D.C. when I went to FinCon. So, you know, you get a lot of different mixed uh, messages and, and information when it comes to the student loan thing. And that's why you don't hear a lot of people, you know, putting it on the platform because once a loophole is found, they, they try their best to close up that loophole so it doesn't catch wildfire and But these issues can be remedied. They can be remedied on the private and on the federal side. But it gets deep, and a lot of the times it's not something that is just an uh, uh, easy fix. Like, you know, when you're dealing with fifty, sixty thousand dollars worth of student loans, it's different from just taking an inquiry off and leaving that erroneous address or something to that extent. So, and so many people deal with this issue that as soon as you know you get some results and it becomes a lot, they try to find different ways to close those. My sound is acting up. It might be because of it. I thought I got this iPad over here. So the answer. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me better now? Is my sound a lot better? Hold on, let me see. Let me try to turn. Is my sound better now? What they do, royalty. Talking about it's a loud hum. You try to put on my little ear, my little headset. Let me see if it's better. And I did notice that sometime on my Instagram story would be allowed. Let me try this. Is it better now? Can y'all hear me now? Uncle Pete, what they do? What they do, royalty, is it better now? Or do y'all still hear the hum? Let me know. How's my sound? It's like a lawnmower. Is better now? All right. Maybe, okay, it's cool now with the headphones. I put my headphones in. All right, so um, I got I got side I got sidetracked with the um, where was I at? I was talking about <clears throat> I was talking about um, 
the student loans. That's what I was talking about, right? Um, so, oh yeah, I was talking about Queen Sonya. So Queen Sonya actually found a loophole where she was able to sue the student loan companies for uh, putting, uh, not reporting correctly or made a mistake with her amount or the interest. Um, we might we might go to the park tomorrow, baby. So she was able to sue the student loans for something like that. Don't quote me on exactly what it was she sued them, but it had something to do with the wrong amounts. They were reporting the wrong amounts of interest, something to that extent, and actually sued them and got them to settle out for all of her student loans. Cause these companies, these companies have a lot of people that they scare. So. She got both federal and uh, federal and private student loans taken off, uh, settled out in court because she sued the student loan companies. But I was saying before, I was saying what they do, uh, Queen, what they do, royalty. What I was saying before is the private and the federal student loans can be taken off your credit report. You just want to be very careful. Um, and if you know people who having issues, tell them to hit me up. You know. Uh, in the DM but you have to be very careful when you're dealing with the federal student loans because they don't have to get a signature show any proof to a judge to go directly to your job and garnish wages or directly to the IRS to uh, levy your tax returns so you have to be very case specific in how you do it and you want to know exactly what you're wanting to attain because you can use at least on the federal side you can use it to your benefit for a time being just depending on what your strategy is so if you're trying to get a home FHA, you might want to uh, consider doing a payment arrangement with them and show good credit history on there. So when you go, you know, submit your paperwork, you all in good standings. Opposed to doing it the hard money route, the hard money route and getting your high limits and trade lines and things of that nature. And then, you know, using that money to acquire a property. Now you can get them taken off in that aspect. And you can fight them. You can pay them on the back end and take it off on the front end. Or you can fight them all the way. You just want to be able to have individual or individuals who are versed in that assisting you through the whole matter and advising you on the best strategy to do based on your goal and your route to uh, achieve that goal, if it makes sense. And have your paperwork in place and correct absolutely absolutely so with the way that i've i do it i had by the time i actually went and seen an attorney about it they were saying hey well would you want to settle out and i slapped 300 pages 300 pages on their desk in chronological order order all photo stat copies from validation, verification to uh, cancellation of contract by grantor. Oh yeah, I dug, I dug deep in the Black's Law Dictionary with that. It took me about nine months of studying before I even had the courage to go ahead up against them. So when I slapped the 300 pages on the attorney's desk, they looked at me and was like, yo, well, what do you want to do? Because you, you know, if you're gonna study it yourself, you're actually getting in being a jurisprudence, which is like in the law. So, you know, those of y'all who've been following me for a little while know I get, I don't talk about it often, but I go uh, every now and then I go deep dealing with the Black's Law and things of that nature, utilizing uh, the language of commerce and administrative process in order to execute remedy. And that's what I did as far as with the student loans. You can do that with mortgages as well, too. So there's a lot of different things. What they do. Um, y'all make sure y'all follow the Financial Rebel, man. He be dropping some jewels on his page. Tax guru specialist. Make sure y'all follow him. Um, so, it gets deep when, when you're dealing with that. Um, when you start to learn things such as securitization, where they turn uh, paper from illiquid to liquid, and you start to understand these processes uh, such as securitization and how they're creating uh, money out of thin air, uh, aside from the Federal Reserve printing. And I know I'm going off subject, but it's actually all uh, in the midst of mortgages and student loans because 
when you're dealing with uh, these particular entities that are doing fraud at the highest levels, if you will. When we think of fraud, we think of, you know, the scammers and the swipers and things like that. But when we get into uh, the higher levels of it on the financial, what they do, uh, royalty, what they do, when we get into it on the higher levels of it, when we talk about securitization and material alterations of contracts and things of that nature, when you get into the Black's Law Dictionary and you look at these things as unsecured debt and um, um, things that have no collateral attached to them and, and servicing of debt and authorized holders in due course of notes and things of that nature, you start to start to say, hey, they're doing, you know, they're not doing things that are legal and lawful. But we have to understand and over in a, and overstand the law in order to do that. So, is this to remove negative marks about student loans, or just to have student loans removed, even if they have been paid on time? It depends on what you're trying to do. So, you can remove negative the negative marks of the student loans. However, if they are federal student loans you want to be cognizant that they don't go for any of your wages on the job or your tax returns based on what kind of job you have, first of all. Second of all, what are you trying to accomplish um, dealing with that? And um, student loans removed even if they have been paid. Well, if they have been paid, it should be marked as paid off and closed and you still want to get that taken off. Because if it's not, if it's just sitting there not doing anything, it could be bringing your credit down. So if you've paid it off, you want to have a, a letter of completion dealing with that and have that put in paid in full <clears throat> or paid on your credit report. But if it's sitting there saying closed or it's just sitting there taking up space, you might as well get it taken off, in my personal opinion. But once again, it's all a matter of what are you trying to do or uh, yeah, where are you trying to go and how are you trying to go about doing, uh, go, go about getting there, per se. Um, use Florida, right? You got, you know, if you're in Miami and you're trying to get to uh, Georgia, well, you know, you could take 95, you could take the turnpike. How are you trying to get there? Um, no, I'm still paying on them, but that interest is ridiculous. Well, who are you paying? Are you paying... A federal student loan uh, entity are you paying a private student loan entity also you know what are your plans what are your goals are you trying to purchase a home are you if you are, are you trying to get it FHA are you trying to get it uh, conventional are you trying to get it through a bank or are you trying to become the bank or use somebody else hard money okay federal so you know do you have a job do you are you self-employed are you going trying to go FHA? Are you trying to go hard money? You know what I mean? Like these is all the things where you you want to analyze your situation to know what is the best strategy to go about, you know, achieving your goal and how it it would help you or hurt you based on what you're trying to do and how you're trying to go about doing it. It's a lot of factors involving when you're dealing with the student loan entities um, and what you're trying to attain, you know? This money bag, what they do, what they do. Getting cold up there in Ohio, man. I, you know, I ain't rocking with none of y'all in the north like that until next year, probably April, May, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably gonna chill out, chill out for a little while, you know? Chill out for a little while. So, but this is this is what I studied for a very long time in order to, uh, you know, execute that and get the remedy I, I was looking for and put myself in a better position where I could, uh, you know, have some more wiggle room and have access to the capital in order to attain assets, income producing assets. So, you know, that's the goal at the end of the day to get this money because when have we ever had access to five, six figures in capital and to put it in an asset as far uh, opposed to a liability. That's the whole point of the matter. So. You know, you're trying to, you're trying to uh, get rid of that stuff. You're trying to get to the bag. Holla at me. You know, partner with a company we're doing. Uh, oh, it's 70 right now. Okay. Okay. I could deal with, I could deal with 70. I could deal with 70. But uh, I still can't play because it's probably 70 in the midday. 
And <clears throat> as soon as it get about five, six o'clock, it go down to about 50. I'm from Miami, 50 degrees, you know, we wearing bubble coats and shit like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 70 I can rock with, I rock with that. But I know I know how it be early morning and when it get late, that sun go down, that thing drop 20, 30 degrees real quick. Yes, you know it'd be winter tomorrow in Cincinnati. Don't fall for it. Oh, I know, I know. Listen, man, y'all see me in DC. Y'all see y'all see me in DC. They was like, oh no, nah, it's not gonna be cold. Okay, I had a jacket on every day in DC, jacket or hoodie. Listen, the way my hemoglobin is set up. Nah, y'all not finna have me a real nigga catch hypothermia out there playing with y'all. Negative. I'll holla at y'all next year, 2020, baby. April, May-ish. You know what I'm saying? I'll be peeking my head up. You right. You a warrior. I am a warrior. Thank you. Excuse me. I am, I know I am a warrior. Uh, Can handle it and have to handle it is two different things. Y'all can handle it. I marched in Obama's inauguration for the first one with the band. It was as cold as I've ever been in my life in D.C. Like, you know, whenever the inaugural parade was, I was out there, you know, hand warmers. I can deal with it, but do I want to deal with it? No. And since I don't want to deal with it, I'm not going to. I'm not going to subject myself to hypothermia, pneumonia, bronchitis, and all respiratory inflammation and all that. Dealing with that. Nah, man. As soon as it go, you know, 65 and under, man, my nose go to sniffling and stuff. Exactly, queen. I'm staying right where it's warm and chilling out. Straight chilling out. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. For real, for real. Um. <laughs> hey, y'all can have that. Y'all can have that. Half my family is from New York. And uh, listen. Nice place to visit, but I don't want to live there. And when I go, I'm going to go in late spring or summer. I'd have been in New York around October, around this time, and it started getting cold. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I, done, I done been there, and I done did that. I done been there, and I done did that. No, thank you. I'm going to stay down south. And why don't people consider Florida the south? That's something else too. That's aside from the finance and the credit and all that. But why don't people consider Florida the South? When And I've spoken to Southerners in the quote unquote Bible Belt, New Orleans, Mississippi, Carolinas, Georgia, all that. It stops at Florida. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Can somebody help me out why Florida is not considered the South? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's wild. But, uh, Guess what? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay here until until next year, cause uh, you know, I be on my little health is wealth stuff, and uh, I ain't trying to take no unnecessary herbs because they were really a part of the Confederate. weren't a part of the Confederate. Uh, you know, King, we go into that whole history talk, and we'll we'll be back and forth for forever. We still got some more uh, talking to do, man. Uh, King fin uh, Financial Rebel, man, we, we got to talking on some heavy stuff, talking about history, nationality versus race and the constructs and, and taxes and, oh, man, man, we get into some deep scuba gear, man. Y'all follow the Financial Rebel, man. He got some knowledge. King there has some knowledge, some knowledge with him, man. Definitely, definitely. We got to do a part two with the Mindset Monday too, because we, when we did, when we did it, we were getting into the private equity group and and pooling the money together. Yeah, we was definitely building. We was definitely building for sure, for sure. Um, but right now, anybody have any questions uh, dealing with credit, uh, specifically like student loans, these mortgages? Find out about. Securitization. It's a high-level financial term. Securitization. And if you could look into that and find out uh, the steps within the securitization process, you will find a lot of um, loopholes in there to remedy a lot of situations. If you look into securitization, and um, the 
fraud that's committed within standard practices of finance. It's what caused the crash of 2007-2008. Um, I know a little bit about the crash and stuff. Um, you're not talking about amateurization, are you? I'm talking about securitization. Now, I know they was giving out a lot of those um, balloon mortgages. And it was like, oh, well, it's going to be $300 for 12 months and then on the 13th month it went to $3,000 and people was losing their homes and things of that nature. But um, I heard there's some loopholes into that too. Now I'm not a real estate guru, so, you know, but I heard that a lot of people, you know, it was so many houses to foreclose on, people just stayed there and stopped paying the bills. And, you know, there's so many houses to deal with, they didn't have the manpower to kind of, you know, remove people out of their homes. So. A lot of people was able to keep homes, uh, get them to nothing, and a whole lot of different stuff was going on during that time. Like I said, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in the industry at that time. I just heard a lot about it. All the banks would wrap those BS mortgages and securitize them. Uh, uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And the CDS. Mm, okay, I definitely look into that. A lot of people say, um, you know, the market is gonna gonna crash shortly. I've I've heard individuals say the market is gonna crash uh, before the next election, and so that's why a lot of people is trying to uh, pool up their liquid because uh, the whole market is gonna be on sale when it crash. And you know, me looking at different markets, a lot of markets is at a high. So when I see them at a high, it's just a uh, short time, you know what I'm saying? Make some money on the way going down for sure. You know, I know that they doing some things uh, to sustain the market as far as to try to keep it up. But when you so long, you can hold that heavy thing, you know, up over your shoulders. It's possible, but the Fed is on notice. Mm, what they do, what they do was uh, to just chiming in the, uh, I guess we have a scuba class. You could blame the financial rebel for that. You know, I started off on credit and student loans. Now we're going into the market crashing and, and uh, all type of different stuff. Unfabricated, what they do, what they do, King. Y'all go follow Unfabricated. He, hey, you, you should do it, uh, a travel show, Unfabricated. Unfabricated it. Yo, you check his Insta stories. King be in Bali. He be in Shanghai. I think he a Shaolin monk now because he been out in Shanghai. He be in Bentleys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all follow uh, Unfabricated, showing black excellence to the T. And nobody don't really know what he do. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know because you know I know you, but you know what I'm saying? He just be showing Bentleys and Bali. And you know what I'm saying? He travel. You need to do a show, man, a blog or something, King. You know what I'm saying? You need to be a, a, a host on a travel channel, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow uh, Unfabricated. Straight up and down. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the Financial Rebel had me going to school class. I don't like to go, I don't really like to go and get into that, you know, Black's Law scuba class. You know, I like to keep it, you know, you know, keep it with the raps and you know what I mean? Hey, Dollar Dojo. And, you know, we'll get into, you know, the credit repair and the funding. You know, the trade lines is on deck as well, too. So we got those on deck. But, you know, I just don't want to be, you know, that guy just pumping everything, everything, you know, credit or whatever. Because I'm a multi-passionate creative and entrepreneur. And I know y'all could feel me on that. You know, you might do taxes, but you want, you know, you get into real estate or you got some real estate or, you know, you might be into stocks, but you know, you want, you know, you want some trucks and stuff too. You have different interests, right? So I'm a multi-passionate creative and entrepreneur. And you know, that could work against you at times. You know, I have products, I have services for the people. I gotta let y'all know what it is too, but you know, I'm multi-passionate, you know? I'm not a jack of all trades, but I am multi-passionate. But my base, my base is in credit. But how I got to the credit and have enough money and time to 
uh, invest in it and learn it like that was through the dividends. You feel me? So I was able to compile or compound my money through dividend yield stocks enough to put into the credit and learn it and get the funding to get into other things such as real estate and duty and things of that nature. You know, so what they do royalty, everybody chiming in. Mindset Monday, y'all know how we do, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is how we do. We're talking about credit. Uh, a couple people got on and we got, you know, got into real estate and, and CDs and mortgages and things of that nature. But, you know, it's all good. You know, it's all good. It's all finance. This is what we do in creating royalty through uh, financial literacy. Learning how to put, make our pennies turn into dollars. Chef Dom, what they do, King. And if y'all not following him, go follow Chef Dom, who just chimed in. World famous chef. I'ma say it. You feel me? ICN. You feel me? Saga Fett. Whipped it up. You probably see him on Hood Estates page, doing all the private events for them. Y'all want a chef? Y'all holla at Chef Dom, man. He, yo, the lobster he made. Yo, the lobsters and oh my gosh, it was magnificent. I'll be hitting you for a credit consultation soon. Most definitely. Most definitely. Hit me up for a credit consultation. We're going to bust everything down for you. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to analyze that profile. We're going to talk about your goals, where you want to go, how you're trying to get there, and the best strategy that we could come up, time period, and everything associated with that to help you get to your goal and a roadmap to get to your goal. You feel me? What they do, queen what they do so um this is what we're doing you know this is what we're doing um creating royalty through financial literacy and we teaching this and the best way to expedite that is through credit straight up and down credit specialty and student loans i represent the highest level of academia if you have if you just starting to follow me i have a bachelor's i have an mba and um i didn't learn any of this information uh through there I didn't, I didn't learn about Black's Law Dictionary or any of these things that was able to put me in a position uh, to benefit my friends and family uh, with access to capital and opportunity because that's the one thing that we never have access to. So that's what I like, getting our people to bad, straight up and down. And right now, the, believe it or not, is the best time to begin unsecured lines of credit and credit cards, which that's what I do as part of the, you know, the process. If you just want to get that uh, removal and built up fine, I got trade lines on deck. Plus, I got the funding sources for you. A lot of people, you know, we've done six figures this year already. Did six figures last year of funding for individuals um, because we never had access to the capital. We never had access. I know a lot of people make eighty thousand dollars a year, but they never see eighty thousand dollars at one time or never have access to that type of money. So, this is what I do. I teach us how to turn our pennies into dollars and leverage it, get the bags. Now, what you do with your 50, 80, 100, $150,000 once you get it, that's up to you. What businesses, and a lot of times you'll see me have guests on my Mindset Monday showing you different fields that you can go into, you know, whether it be trading, futures, Forex, whether it be the tax business, whether it be a chef, you want to open up your own restaurant or put in marketing for your particular services or products, you want to do drop shipping. You know, I've brought on trucking, dualies, semis, I've brought on multiple people in multiple different uh, industries that you can go ahead and follow, like the hub or the plug, if you will. I'm going to get you the bag. Now, what you do with the bag to flip it and make more money, to put what income producing asset you put it in, that's up on you. You want to do real estate, so many different ways of doing that. That's why a lot of times I bring on different guests in these different fields and we talk about the different opportunities. Because I get you, I can turn your pennies into into dollars, into thousands. I can get you fifty, sixty thousand dollars in credit, unsecured lines of credit, revolving credit cards. I can get that for you. That's what I do. Now, what you do with that is on you. What you do with that is on you. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. And when in the history of whenever do we have we had the access to have access to this amount, these amounts of capital? My bad. That's my guy. I don't even want to cut it. It's one of my guys from behind the wall checking in with me. I'm checking in with him on a later time because I'm here with y'all right now. 
time for that 15 minutes be important. Make sure y'all don't forget y'all people who are incarcerated, locked up. Um, don't buy uh, the, the prison stocks because that perpetuates the system and um, puts into the prison system. And at one point in time, I was purchasing prison stocks until I had conversations with individuals who uh, put, hit me up on some games as far as that's concerned. Are the credit cards personal or business? Uh, both, but mostly personal. But we can do business as well, too. We can do business. But the individuals who uh, mostly I assisted with all personal, personal credit, 50 to 120, give or take $1,000 of personal credit, lines of credit and credit cards, unsecured. Now, on the business side, we can do some things, too. But, um, you know, it's a, the personal side is a setup. You need the personal for the business anyway. Let's just put it like that. People talk about uh, the vendor lines and the Dun & Bradstreet number or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, when you go to these people for the uh, business credit, they're going to say, who, wonderful, baby. They're going to say, who's the personal guarantor? Are you the personal guarantor? Let's look at your credit. So you're going to need a certain credit uh, score. And, okay, baby. You're going to need a, uh, uh, a correct credit score and a credit profile in order to get approved as a personal guarantor for your business. So you got to get your personal in order. Anyway. So might as well get your personal, get your bands up on that, turn around and then get your business stuff off too. But it's up to you. It's up to you. But you're not, um, I don't care if you, I don't care if you got, you know, Dun & Bradstreet number, you got your U-Line, you got your Quill, you got your Staples, you got all that running, and you got your, you know, your uh, Net 30s and your Net 45s and all that, and you've been running that for a year, and you go to the bank and say, hey, look, my Paydex score is 80. They're going to say, uh, who's the personal guarantor? Work Strive Brian, I want to shout out my bro, Work Strive Brian. If y'all not following him, follow him. Black excellence at its finest. Real estate guru, real estate mentor. He has a hustler's workshop once a month in Miami, SLS Brickle. Y'all hear me talk about the Maybachs. That's who it is. You feel me? He put me in his own May his Maybach. You feel what I'm saying? Black excellence to the finest, to the T. Make sure you go follow him. Somebody who I consider a friend, who I got a lot of respect for, inspired. Um, you know, Iron Sharp and Iron Man. If y'all not following Work Strive Grind, make sure y'all go follow him. Got a lot of love, got a lot of respect for the king, man. He's doing great things in the community and exhibiting black excellence to the finest, man. So make sure y'all go follow uh, Work Strive Grind. Y'all want to know real estate, uh, the flipping, the rental game. He have a mentorship. He have uh, also uh, uh, a course. He has a course on real estate as well. And he also has the Hustlers Workshop, which he does once a month where they talk about credit and real estate. Excellent, excellent brother, excellent kid. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, they're uh, majority, you gotta have your personal credit uh, right and your personal credit profile together in order to get your business credit. So uh, it's personal credit, you know. But you, once we get that funding for you, if you wanna get business credit and get that set up, we get that set up for you as well too. Um, so, but you know, you're gonna need your business, your LLC. It needs to be uh, the right particular business. Certain businesses uh, trigger off automatic, you know, red flags. You wanna have your right SIC code. You know, you wanna make sure you got your uh, your Opus virtual address, which your website, at least a three-page website. Like it's a whole, there a whole bunch of different setup things to put yourself in position to get that funding. No pressure, no problems. Uh, with that business side of credit, but it all starts with the personal side. So, yeah, we can get that done for you. We can get that done for you. Just set the profile, put your plan together, and uh, get you the funding. You know what I'm saying? Repair, uh, build up that credit, and uh, get you that funding that you need. And now, actually, is the time to do it, because guess what? They give away a lot of money between now and December 26th, all the way up to Black Friday, because you know why? They think we're going to spend it because we're a consumer. We got the most spending power. So we're, con we're consumers in their eyes, and these credit cards are the bank's pro product. Excuse me. So they're trying to give away as much product as they can, thinking that you're going to use it to purchase liabilities. Ha, 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 ha. Little do they know we're going to purchase assets. So from now until December 26th is the time to 
uh, bust the move where we get you five to six figures in unsecured credit where you can put into your asset. Because once December 26th come and Christmas season is done, um, guess what? They tightening up the books. So, them, you know, them same people that will probably give 25000 might only give 1500 on December 26th. So now is the time. No pressure, though, but if you want your bag, now is the time to get your bag. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you hit me in the DM. You feel me? What they do, Queen, uh, Miss Necessary. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Y'all hit me in the DM. Y'all trying to uh, get that stuff, your credit profile built up, repair it expeditiously, and get that bag expeditiously. Because we got to December 26th, and then they tightening up the books again to about March, the end of the first quarter. Ooh, how you know that? This is what I be doing. This is what I be doing. All right? So definitely, definitely, shout at me on that. Anybody got any questions right now for me? Anybody got any questions for me? I could type that in. I'm, I'm open, I'm receptive. And if no one has told you, you are royalty. You are king. You are queens. You will elevate. You are going to make it. If you're going through a tough time, nothing lasts forever. Shout out ADL Customs. Known him for a long time, man. He's doing, he does the custom shirts and stuff. Make sure y'all follow him. He was doing my shirts when I was rapping back in the day 10 years ago. Stuff like that. Um, what they do, King. Um, but you are royalty. And uh, you are kings. You are queens. If you are going through a hard time, nothing nothing lasts forever. You will make it through. You will uh, persevere through this storm. You feel me? It's a silver lining at the end of that cloud. Yo, straight up and down. If you want that bag, 50, 60, 70, 100,000 between now and December 26th, make sure you hit me in the DM so we can set up a consultation and get your situation situated and get you on the track to get your bag before December 26th, all right? This, the line of credit amount based on income. Listen, you feel me? We get all that sprinkling pizzazz for you. You get what I'm saying? We get you lined up. We get you squared away on the back end. You feel me? Hit me in the DM. We're going to get you squared away. We got to first do a consultation and assess your profile to see what's going on. But listen, these things are not looking at income from that aspect all those things could be worked out because why i've done it i've done it for a lot of people and um the company and the, the company that i'm working with and the people that i'm working with have done it for a lot of people so this is what we're doing we getting people to the bag and what you do with the bag is on you but we could get you the bag you feel me five or six figures in credit personal credit cards and lines of credit personal now, we get that lined up for you, you want to come on the back end and double to triple that on the business side, we go ahead and use some of that, set you up, put you in position, and get you the business side of well too. So, can we get you a quarter million dollars by December 26th? Yes, we can. Now, what you do with that is on you. Are you going to... Are you going to ball till you fall and have big debt or are you going to put it into an income producing asset? Maybe a dude, maybe a semi, maybe a property, maybe a couple of properties, maybe a drop shipping, maybe into the market. I don't know. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. It's a million ways to get money. Choose one. But we all know this. It takes money to make money. So. When have we ever had startup capital? When have we ever had working capital? And the banks will give you a student loan, a home loan, and a car loan. It won't give you no business loan. Huh, imagine that. Imagine that. It's coming from a person with an MBA. Conferred. My transcript is conferred. It's in the books, baby. You feel what I'm saying? So you could either go to the bank or you could become the bank. It's up to you. But... You're on the line with somebody who can basically turn you into the bank for the most part. So get your stuff set up and go beg the bank or you can get your stuff set up and be the bank. It's all up on you. It's all up on you. Straight up and down. The choice is yours, but the opportunity is available for you. So, you know, take advantage. It was put here for me and you. Take advantage, man. Take advantage. <laughs> <laughs>
straight up and down. We have a Friday on a Monday. We have a Friday on a Mindset Monday. <laughs> what they do, King Orlando? You feel me? So, yeah, this is what we doing, man. This is definitely what we doing. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be starting up my private Facebook group soon, the Black Lotus Dojo Club. Well, I'm going to be dropping a lot of this knowledge, a lot of this scuba gear in the group. The group is going to be designed for multi-passionate creatives and entrepreneurs. I'm going to give you an example. King, King Works Drive Grind. He is a guru when it comes to real estate. But guess what? He likes lifestyles. He's into cars too. What do cars got to do with real estate? Kind of, sort of, nothing, except the car look good in front of the home, right? But he's multi-passionate entrepreneur. He have, he's multifaceted and multi-passionate. And he's a creative with the way he does it, the way he markets it, the way he designs his business, his structure. So it's for multi-passionate individuals. Me, I deal with dividends. My dividends got my money up for the credit, but I was studying the credit and I know the credit, and this is what I do, right? But also, I went into the Dooley business. But I also own real estate. So I'm a multi-passionate creative and entrepreneur. Y'all might know I do music. I shot a music video in Senegal at the door, no return to Africa, or whatever the case may be. I have these different streams of income. So I'm a multi-passionate creative and entrepreneur. And that's what this group is gonna be designed for. We're gonna be designed, it's based, it's designed for multi-passionate creatives and entrepreneurs and focuses on convenience and simplicity so we're going to be sharing some of the ins and outs to get to make our realm a little easy and simplistic right because a lot of times we look at things and when you don't know how it works it looks complicated until you get in and say oh well I could do this I could do that for instance um, I use an app called um, uh, Plotograph, right? I, I didn't do a post on it in a little while, but if you go back, you see me sitting by a railroad and um, the railroad is moving and then it comes in pennies to dollars, dollars to leverage, right? Well, the app that I use to create that is called Plotograph. It's a free app where you can turn, basically turn a picture into a video and, and plot out the picture to make it move, right? That's something that, hey, people can use for marketing. Right, so now you can go ahead and take a dope picture of yourself and turn it into a raw video where the picture is moving. That's something that makes your job a little bit easier and convenient. But just from the outside looking in, you'll say, dang, how did he do that? Who did he pay to do that, to create that, right? And it's something you could do right from your phone. So this is just one tip of something that could be used for anybody in any realm because no matter what product or service you're dealing with, you're not going to get business unless you have marketing. So that's a marketing tool that can be used real, really quick and really easy for your post for marketing, right? So this is just an example. And does it have anything to do with dualies or dividends or credit? No, but it can be used in the marketing for whatever you're into, whether it's real estate, whether it's taxes, whatever the case may be, right? So this is what this group is going to be designed for. Uh, multi-passionate creatives and entrepreneurs that focus on convenience and simplicity. So I, I'm creating a Facebook group for that. So if you're interested, hit me up in the DM. I'm still putting it in the works, to be honest with you. It ain't all the way there, but that's what the group is going to be focused on. And we're going to be sharing different tips and we're going to create this community and we're going to help each other out because you never know how one could lead to the other. Another example. I do music or I could do a commercial or rap for somebody's, you know, program or thing and create you a commercial. Well, now the rapper was able to help the, the baker. What do rapping got to do with baker? You, you get what I'm saying? Well, guess what? The baker likes rap music or the baker has a fan base that that could be uh, marketed towards. So that is what the group is for. Multi-passionate creatives and entrepreneurs. Y'all feeling that? Y'all feeling that? Definitely. You know, um, if you're not following my um, Trace Snatch underscore GPS page, make sure y'all go follow that as well too because I'm going to start transferring the Mindset Mondays and stuff like that over to that page. That's going to be really focused on the different credit and different things of that nature. So, um, 
that that's what I'm gonna have coming to y'all soon. You feel me? We're gonna be start focusing a lot more on credit on that other page, and we also gonna be uh, starting up that Facebook group, Black Lotus Dojo Club, multi passionate creators and entrepreneurs. Y'all be y'all be on the lookout for that. That's what I got coming to y'all, so we can share these different realms and see how we can help each other and learn some of the ins and outs of it, right? And we gonna also promote each other's businesses and we gonna support each other's businesses as well too. Definitely, right? We gonna pump our business and somebody else's business like it's our own, you know. I uh, get another work strike round. I gotta use him. That's that's my guy. Um, Man, y'all see, I, I post his Hustlers Workshop and my stuff. You know, I promote it. You know, uh, he works with the queen, uh, Charlie Nakia. I promote her. You know, we promoting each other's businesses as it's his own. If you look at his story, he just bought Rick Ross's shoes. But he also posted Rick Ross' book, him reading Rick Ross's book in his Maybach. You know, we pumping each other's businesses like our own. We supporting each other whether it's marketing, whether it's promotion, and we're paying. We paying full price for, for our people's stuff. We're not looking for no discount because we want to circulate this stock. We want to take this to the next level. And why not take these free bands that they're giving over here and get this funding and then pump into some of our businesses as well? It only makes sense. It only makes sense, right? It only makes sense to get this to get this funded. How many hours you gonna have to work with your cost of living and expenses before you have twenty, thirty thousand dollars? Shout out Pepper Jack Zoe on here. Y'all not following him? Go follow him. <clears throat> My young guy. He's a producer. I watched him go from high school to the military. He's in Hawaii now. He actually produced my PE record. If y'all know that, I know, I know. Rush your paper like a rhino. He's the producer of that, man. So I'm so proud of him. He's doing his thing right now. Um, so make sure y'all go support him. Y'all want, uh, y'all need commercials for Instagram or background music for your Instagram or social media platform. Go check his link in the bio. He got beats. You can purchase his beats and use it as background music for your uh, promotion and marketing as well. You see how we uh, cross collaborating? That's why this group Black Lotus Dojo Club is gonna be so raw. We're gonna have so many different angles and flavors in there, all feeding, bouncing ideas off each other and seeing how we can help and support each other and make our realms a little bit easier. Where somebody might be interested in a realm that you're interested in and didn't even realize that you could do one, two things to get into it so easy, you know? So this is what this group is about. So make sure y'all hit me in the DM. Um, say uh, if y'all interested in, in the group, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna big up everybody. The timer just went on. I got about a minute and uh, 30 seconds left. I want to shout out everybody who came on here. Work, Strive, Grind, Pepper Jack, Zoe. Um, <clears throat> yes, sir, I told you to download Fruity Loops. I wasn't even going to tell them that, you know what I'm saying? I put you on beats. Now you're a raw producer, got all type of placements and stuff. I wasn't even going to say that. But uh, shout out to my guy, Pepper Jack, Zoe. Shout out to um, I'm Just Ray, Miss Necessary, Work, Strive, Grind, Orlando. I'm just trying to go through the list of Financial Rebel. Uh, Miss Moneybag, man, thank y'all. Y'all know what it is. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all here with me. Mindset Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday. Um, follow my other page, uh, Trey Snatch underscore GPS. You getting heavy in the credit. Let me know if you're interested in the uh, the Black Lotus Dojo Club uh, Facebook group for multi passionate uh, entrepreneurs and creatives. Y'all know, hit the link in my bio if you purchase the music or purchase merchandise you support me if you book a consultation or purchase Ale Banyo Kanyashe uh, if you purchase if you uh, purchase the uh, book a consultation or purchase the book you're investing in yourself alright link in this in my bio for everything um, we're going to be continuing to do this you are royalty pennies to dollars dollars to leverage leverage your way to freedom Black Lotus the brand the lifestyle y'all know what it is Trey Snatch make sure y'all holler at me Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for joining me on Mindset Monday. I look forward to speaking to y'all next week. Where we're going to have another topic and we're going to create royalty through financial literacy. So let's continue to elevate, network, and your network, your network is your network. Holla at me.